going back to artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. This is where I am going to try and make it as easy as possible and maybe potentially use some analogies. Artificial intelligence, as I said, is the, the computer, the system is doing something human-like. That could be, you know, autonomous, it could be self-driving cars, it could be the most crazy, you know, AGI, the most advanced thing you've ever heard. Or it could be a really, really sophisticated set of like a hundred if-then statements that really make the computer do something human. So there's a wide spectrum in how complex, in how much computational power goes into what is, um, what is called AI. Because again, it is that biggest circle. Within AI is machine learning, which most of the things that we're, we talk about in media, in blog posts, whatever, is machine learning. And so the easiest way to actually describe the delineation between deep learning, DL, and machine learning, ML, is to focus on what makes deep learning, deep learning, as opposed to machine learning. Example, because we need to talk through these. Um, Okay, so deep learning is specific. It has to do with the structure of the learning. You guys have heard the term neural networks. You know, when you think neural, think neuron, think brain, think human. So neural networks are really set up to mimic the human brain and how we think. There's a lot of machine learning that could look like regression, and that does not necessarily need to look like a multi-layer deep neural net. So when we are talking about neural networks, that is modeling learning to, you know, resemble how humans process information. One of the reasons that studying cognitive science is super cool. So um, deep learning, you know, if you guys have heard terms like neural networks, uh, deep neural networks, deep nets, convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, this is starting to fall into deep neural networks. So uh, maybe I'll... I'll to figure out a way to, to share the image that I think is really popular. But if you look up uh, neural networks and just go to Google Images and look, at, you'll see multiple um, kind of vertical lines, then usually like matrix lines connecting in between. And you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So a neural network, an artificial neural network, can be as basic, as vanilla, as simple as one input layer, one hidden layer, and one output layer. When we talk about deep neural networks, deep learning, all that means is instead of the super vanilla, you know, simple, simple, it has more than one hidden layer or more than three overall layers if you're including the input and the output layer. That's all deep learning is as like a separation. Um, the super cool thing about deep learning, and I'll share an analogy around this one, is, and I like wrote out word for word because I don't want to mess up a single word. The reason that it performs so well for some of these use cases is that with multiple layers, and I'll talk through an analogy, you're able to create more and more abstract features. So as the signal is moving through those, those layers, the hidden layers and everything in between, the features are able to become more and more abstract. And so we'll, I'll talk about like edge detectors as an example. But that depth you know, multiple layers allows us to further extract, uh, abstract the, the uh, you know, the, the features that are in those upper layers and really allows us to improve the ability of that overall network, the whole flow to classify um, something, classify an image as a car, classify an image as chapstick, whatever. So here's an example. And, uh, and I made this up. If you guys don't like it, come up with your own. I, you know, I think about someone who has, uh, po you know, poor vision. They, their, their prescription is negative 15. And when they look at something, it is, you know, it's really blurry. Maybe they can kind of see the edges of something. They're seeing light and dark spots, but they don't really know what they're looking at. And let's say that I give, you know, that person a set of glasses. They're not great, but they get that person from negative 15 to say negative seven. And so suddenly I kind of start to see clustering of pixels, clustering of pixels, clustering of pixels, clustering of pixels. And I'm able to recognize blobs. I get you another pair of glasses. It gets you from whatever I just said, negative seven to negative three. 
And now suddenly you're like, okay, I think those are ears. I think that's a body. I think that's a tail. And I get you, you know, better and better glasses. And you're like, okay, that's definitely ears. That's a body. That's a tail. And then by the final layer, you're like, I have 20-20 vision. That is my cat, right? And that is why deep learning is so incredible. It's applying this kind of layered learning to be able to further abstract. And so one example might be, um, let's say that you have a security camera at a, um, you know, a parking garage gate, and you want to be able to detect if a car is there. And if a car is there, you're going to lift up the gate to let that car out. So in the same way that I recognize ear, ear, body, tail, a convolutional neural net or a CNN, which is often used in image classification, CNN, you know, using deep learning is going to be able to recognize, okay, window, tire, door, and it'll eventually be able to recognize it as a car. It sends the system, this, this like label of a car, and then it programs the gate to lift. So that is an example of, you know, business value that can be driven with a convolutional neural network. You guys maybe also heard of RNNs, recurrent neural network. These are used in mostly time series, sequential data. Um, lots of like NNs are all starting to get into this deep learning world. Let me just quickly look to see if I wanted to. I think that was it. Hold on. I think that was it. That was like the fastest 15 minute walkthrough of all the stuff. Great. If you liked these brief, easy, simple beginner overviews, let me know. I would love to record more. Let me know what you would like to learn. Um, let me know if you have better analogies. I am happy to change mine and adopt others. And let's keep having some fun. Let's keep learning. Share this with folks that you think would enjoy it. Bye, guys.